Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be simplifying expressions and you will be able to do 11.4. And today students will be able to simplify expressions by using distributive property and combining like terms. But before we do that, let's do a small do now. Okay. So in here it says, simplify the following expressions. Um, this is from the previous lesson and so if you recall what we did was to look for the terms that have the same variable raised to the same power okay so in here we have M another term with M and we have N N and finally, we have let's see what shape can I use? A little drop. Negative eight and negative ten. And they are like terms not because they have a negative, but because they don't have a variable. Okay? So the answer will be if I have 15m and m, that's a total of 16m. For the n, 2n plus n is plus 3n. And negative 8 plus negative 10 is negative 18. Remember that if we have uh, same sign we add and keep the sign of the bigger one. So that's the answer for the first one 16m plus 3n minus 18 Now let's do the second one Okay, so we have Negative y in here Another one with y is positive 2y And that's it Then we have letter z so it's 6z, positive 6z, negative 12z, and finally we have, I'm just going to put a triangle, negative 9 and negative 1, okay? Again, we have to pay attention to the signs, negative y and positive 2y, Different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger, bigger one. So 2 minus 1, remember that when there is no coefficient, there is a 1 in there, negative 1. That's equals to 1y, but we don't need to put the 1. When we have, I'm just going to put here 6z, negative 12z, different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. So negative. 12 minus 6, 6. And we keep the z. So negative 6, z. And finally, we have negative 9, negative 1. So when we have the same sign, we add them and keep the sign of the bigger one. So it's going to be negative 9 plus 1, 10. So negative 10. Uh, let me just show you here with the first one. So I have negative y and positive 2y remember different signs we subtract and that means that there's a 1 in there so 2 minus 1 is 1y we never put the 1 in there okay okay so now remember that if you need to more time just make sure that you pause the video okay so these are this is in, some information that we will need for our lesson it says when we see parentheses in our expression, right now we don't have any parentheses, but when we do in our expression, it means that we cannot touch anything inside of it until we get rid of the parentheses. The way to get rid of the parentheses is using distributive property. And I'm gonna show you some examples in a minute, but it says distributive property is the multiplication of one term monomial usually by all the terms inside of the parentheses so in here the next example 
this is the monomial it's referring to. And that is going to be multiplying with each one of the other terms inside of the parentheses. So times negative 2x and times 1. So the answer will be, we just bring this 5x down, okay, and then multiply x, positive x times negative 2x is going to be negative 2x squared. Positive x times 1 is 1x, or just x. Then we're going to combine like terms, and the like terms here are only x and x, not the x squared term, okay? So only 5x and x. So we're going to bring this down. One thing that we need to know is that the answer needs to be in descending order, meaning that the biggest exponent goes first. It's going to be negative 2x squared, and then 5x plus x, let me do it on the side, 5x plus x, both are positive, so we're going to add them. 5 plus 1, it's 6x, and so we just put it here, plus 6x, and that's going to be the answer. Okay, so again, distributive property, and then combine like terms. We're doing the step from before, but we're adding the distributive property. So this is distributive property. And when we put together the terms that have the same variable raised to the same power, that's called combining like terms. Okay, combining like terms. So now let's look at some other examples. Again, if you have, you need more time, make sure that you take, pause the video, take your time. Okay, so again, we see a parenthesis here. So we're gonna do distributing property. The rest is gonna come, back, come down the same way, okay? It's just multiplying this term or monomial by this binomial. So we keep the 6b, this two is just part of the problem, okay? 6b, and then we say negative times negative, positive. Two times four, eight. B times b, b squared. Then we do the same term times the second term in here. So negative times negative, positive. Two times nine, 18. And I have a b in here, but nothing in here, so I'm just gonna bring down the b. And this seven is not inside of the parentheses, so we don't need to multiply, we just bring it down. Now we're going to combine like terms. So, let me use a different color. So I'm gonna get this b squared is alone. It doesn't have others with square, okay? If it has a square and this one doesn't have a square, remember that they said chiquitito. Um, then they don't get along, they don't get together. I'm gonna combine this 6b with the 18b. And that, that means that since this doesn't have a, a b, it's by itself, this has b squared, it goes by itself. Always in descending order. So I'm gonna have a b squared first, 8b squared, and then I'm going to combine these two on the side, so 6b plus 18b, and together they make 24b. So plus 24b, and just bring down the 7. Okay, b squared and b don't go together, they do not have the same power. So that's it. And these don't go together because this doesn't have a variable and this one does. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, again, distributive property. However, in here we don't have anything. So you have to be very careful. In here it's like we have a one in there. So it's gonna be one times negative. Oh, bring down this, so negative 10a. 
So if there is nothing between the plus and minus and the parentheses, that means there is a one, and we multiply the one times both. So one times negative two a, negative two a. One times eight, ne positive eight, because it's positive times positive, positive. One times eight, eight. And just bring down the four. We look for like terms. And I notice that I have a negative 10a in here. And this also has a, so negative 2a. And these two are constant numbers, so I'm going to put positive a, positive 4. We combine them, and I'm going to do it on the side. Negative 10a, negative 2a. Same sign, we're going to add. 12, 10 plus 2 is 12a, and keep the sign of the bigger one, which is negative. So it's negative 12a. For 8 and 4, I just add them because both are the same sign. So a plus 4 is 12, so I'm going to add 12. And that's it. Okay. Okay, last, last example. Again, if you need more time or you need to rewind the video, go ahead and do that. First, distributive property, but uh-oh, we have two parentheses. So we're gonna have double distributive property. So we're gonna multiply the six times both of this and the negative two times both of the terms inside of that parentheses. Again, the first thing is that we bring this the way it is, negative 10z. Positive times positive, positive. Six times three, 18. And bring down the z because we only have it in one. For the next one, positive times positive, positive. Six times three, 18. And then we move to the other parentheses. Negative times positive, negative. Two times five, 10. And we only have one z, so we put it in there. The last one, negative times negative, positive. Two times four, eight. And we don't have any variables for this term, so we don't bring the variable. Okay, now let's look for like terms. So that was distributive property. And now we're gonna combine like terms. And combine like terms means, means that I'm gonna look for the terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. Okay, so I have z in here, z in here, and z in here. And then I have a constant number in here and a constant number in here. So, if you notice I have negative 10z and positive 18z. So when we have different signs, we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. So 18 minus 10 is 8, and since the bigger one is positive, I'm going to have positive 8z. The last one is negative 10z. So negative 10z, different signs, okay, we don't pay attention to this one anymore. Different signs, we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. The bigger is negative, so it's going to be 10 minus 8, 2z. So that's going to be my answer, negative 2z. Now, for the 18 and 8, they are both constants, so 18, 8, both are positive, so I'm going to add 18 plus 8 is 26, and so that's it. We put it here. Again, that's the answer. This doesn't have variable. This one has a variable. So they are not like terms, and that's why it stays like that. Again, remember that we're going to do first distributive property, then combine like terms so that we can simplify the expressions. And now you can work on 10.4. So have fun.